all right youtube as you see from the title and thumbnail this video is going to be seven tips to actually get better at fighting in fortnite if you haven't already check out my last fighting video i made three weeks ago a picture of the video will be on the screen because that video also has good tips that aren't in this video this video is like an add-on to that these tips will help you fight like your favorite pro player so pay attention and take notes The first tip is doing things efficiently at a good speed is better than doing things too fast and predictable. A lot of players overrate very fast mechanics because it looks cool. Doing things at a speed you can be consistent at will win you way more fights rather than messing up a ton of edits. You can have the fastest mechs but if you're super predictable in fights you're gonna lose a lot. The second tip is you gotta beat your opponent in the chess game and the aim game. The chess game is your builds, peace controlling your opponent and doing things they don't expect. Fortnite is just like chess, the objective of chess is to checkmate the opponent's king. Checkmate occurs when a king is threatened with capture and has no escape. What does that sound like? Fortnite, you full box your opponent, he has no escape, you 200 pump him in the face. And if you always out aim your opponent, you will be unstoppable. You won't lose much fights if you do more damage than the opponent does to you. I know right hand peaks are important, but in a fight, especially against a good player, you will take damage. So that leads me to the third tip, which is trading. Trading is when you trade shots with the opponent so you hit each other. The best fighters do this and it helps them win most of their fights because they win the trade off most of the time. They sacrifice 200 HP to end the fight quick. Basically for me, I just see how much damage I can take and see if the trade off is worth it. That's my decision making. If I have a gold pump and I know the opponent has a gray or green pump, I'll trade with him because I know my shotgun hits harder. If I'm full HP and he's only 80 white, I'll trade with him because I just need a body shot and he needs a headshot, which is harder. Obviously, it depends on the exact situation, but if opponent is on my wall in a certain position, I'm confident to hit a big shot. And if I have a hard hitting shotgun, that's a plus. But like I said, it depends because if he's just standing there not moving gun out, that means he's waiting for me to edit, so probably not worth the trade. The fourth tip is shotgun delay. After you shoot your shotgun, you can't shoot again for a few seconds. So in a certain situation where the opponent is on the other side of the wall, you can make a wide edit so he thinks he's gonna hit a big shot on you. Then you instantly reset, he's gonna shoot the wall. You're gonna make a wide edit because he has shotgun delay so he can't shoot you. You're gonna hit a big shot, then reset or end the fight. The fifth tip is shotgun pullout timing. I actually didn't notice this until I got decent at the game. Now I'd be abusing it. When you diagonal box fight someone, you turn your right wall into a left hand peak and you look at their left wall and you sit there with your shotgun out. They're gonna make an edit. After they make the edit, they're gonna be put in an animation to go back to their shotgun. So they're not immediately gonna be able to shoot you. So you could shoot and instantly reset and they won't be able to shoot you, but you have to have fast reaction time. And this works 100% of the time because if you're sitting there with your shotgun out, you're not going to get the animation to go back to your shotgun, so you're going to be able to shoot them first. So if you get shot, that just means you have slow reaction time. The sixth tip is playing solos to learn how to fight by yourself. If you're playing duos and your friend does damage to your opponent, he's making the fight easier for you. If he quick that's his guy, he's gonna come jump your guy. And if you're getting completely washed and pieced up, your friend can come get him off your back, so you're not gonna know how to fight by yourself. Also, there's better players in solo rank than there is in duo, trio, or squad rank. The seventh and final tip is land at a popular POI, Hot Drop. This teaches you how to play with low mats and not a lot of resources like heals and how to deal with many third parties. You may think only mid game and end game fighting skills matter, but if you can be good at fighting off spawn, you will overall be a better fighter than someone who is bad off spawn. And if you're good off spawn, you can land at those overpowered POIs that have busted mythics. That's it for me. I hope those tips helped you out. Thanks for watching. Peace.